layers is the most important element in Photoshop by far and it really helps if you have a grasp of the idea and the concept of layers if you're going to work with Photoshop. So I've got some images open here and I'm going to kind of talk about layers. First of all, when you open up a image or a photograph in Photoshop, it defaults to the background layer. And oftentimes you don't realize it's a, a layer, but it is. And um, so anyway, we want to talk about this idea of layers. So we can create layers in Photoshop and these layers will go on top of your background layer. And these layers are typically uh, transparent layers. So when you add a layer, it's usually transparent. Now the easiest way to um, see a layer or go right into the concept of layers is to go get the text tool, right? And once you have the text tool, I want you to go up to, all right, I'm waiting here, waiting. All right, I've got a uh, text tool. I've got a font here, Myriad Pro, and I'm going to take it up to 60 points. And notice the color's green. I'm going to change the color to white. To do that, by the way, I just click on this color chip and I can then slide the circle in this color area. I can also change this color wheel and I'm going to put it in the upper right hand corner which is white. Click OK. And now if I click in here and start typing, um, you'll see the results. So I'll click right on the screen here and then start typing. All right. And now I've got um, some font, uh, a font here, uh, the word Yellowstone, right, typed out with text tool. And if you notice in my layers, text automatically goes onto a new layer. So you can see here is layer one, and there's a T there for text, right? And so it's on its own layer. And now I'll go get the select tool. So I'm going to go over here, grab the select tool, right? And I can click now on this font and I can drag it around on this layer. And so this layer really is a bunch of transparency and then this font on top of the background layer, right? And um, I can turn this eyeball on and off, right? To see the layer or not see the layer, that kind of thing, right? But also I can do other things with layers. So if I wanted to, I'll show you something else that I can do with layers. I could make a new layer, all right? The best way to make a new layer is to go in your layers panel down to right next to the trash can, there is the new layer icon, and click that. And now I've got a, another layer on top of this text layer. And in this layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get my rectangular marquee tool. This is a selection tool, right? And I've got it right now set for fixed size, so I'm going to change that back to normal, okay? So feather, zero, style, normal and I'm going to, let's say, uh, click right outside here and drag a selection box, right? So now I've got a selection box. Notice that this layer is the layer that's highlighted, not this layer, not this layer, this layer is the layer that's highlighted, this new one. And then I'm going to get my paint bucket tool, and we've got to go find that paint bucket tool. The paint bucket tool right now is under this gradient tool. If you hold down the mouse key, the left mouse button, you can grab your paint bucket and I'm going to paint let's say the color black so what I want to do is I'm going to move this up a little bit so you can see this I'm going to click on these color chips right here so that black and white are in the uh, color chips the foreground color chips you can see them here too the foreground's black and if I paint right here you'll see the color black goes into my selection area and if you look at your layers you can analyze this and you can say I've got this layer on top, then the text layer, turn the eyeball on and off, and then the background layer. Now if I turn off the eyeball on the background layer, I see a checkerboard pattern, meaning um, transparency, nothing underneath. Okay? Now the next thing, let's, let's keep going on this layer concept. I want to deselect here. So select, deselect, or control plus the D key. Uh, control D will also deselect. So now, once again, I can get my select tool, and now I could drag around this, this box, too. I could, I could make this box right here. Let's see here. I'll drag this box. I can now get my text, and I drag my text. Let's say I want to drag my text on top of this box, right? Well, I, I drag it down, and it goes behind the box. Well, why is that? Well, the reason is because the, um, the layer with the black rectangle, 
that I filled with the paint bucket is on top of the text layer. But if you want to, you can just drag these layers and reorder them in the stacking order. So if I drag that layer down, notice I can restack these layers, right? I can take that one to the top, take it to the bottom, right? Or take it underneath. And now I can grab this layer, Yellowstone layer, and I can move this around. Now I'm going to move this down, right? And then I might even take this this box layer and get my once again I have my select tool and I'll drag that down and you can see here I've now made kind of like this header area or what what have you and then the text okay so that's um, you know a basic introduction to layers um, one other thing if I want to drag this background layer up above and put it on top so that it covers both the text and the this rectangular black strip. I can't do it. And the reason is that the layer, the background layer by default is locked. But you can unlock this layer and then you can drag it around as well. So to do that all you gotta do is just double click on this and it brings up the layer dialog box and it says basically allows you to change the layer from the default background layer that's locked to its own layer number or layer name and um, so I'm just going to click OK and default says layer 0. Click OK and now it's no longer the background layer and it no longer has a lock and now what I can do is I could drag it on top and so now it completely covers the black strip and if I drag it up one more it covers the text also and so now it is on top and um, well that's a quick introduction to the concept of layers.